Hi everybody, Tom here at Science Direct. I'd like to talk to you today about some basic information you need to know about aluminum traffic signs. In particular, the various thickness levels and the various reflectivity levels. Let's break it down. First, let's talk about sign thickness. O4O is the thinnest aluminum sign material that we stock, and it is about the thickness of a credit card. O4O is pretty much only displayed in real estate signs where it has a strong angle iron frame that'll give it the needed strength. O4O should never be used as a parking sign mounted on a single centered pole. It's just too weak for that application. 063 is the next step up and it's about the thickness of a nickel. 063 is kind of a middle size and in our opinion it's best suited for wall mounted signs where the wall itself will add rigidity to the sign. The thickest and most common sign we sell for all traffic signs and parking signs is 080. 080 is about 25% thicker than 063, and it's the standard for traffic signs and parking signs across the USA. The extra strength is needed when mounting a sign centered on a single post. People hit signs with their rear view mirrors and run into them with their shoulders, and they just take a lot more abuse than most people realize. Here's a picture of a thinner sign we recently replaced for a customer. To show the difference in strength between 063 and 080, we rigged up this little test. The plan was to set a 35 pound weight on one end of each sign to measure how far they'd bend under that weight. We mounted each sign to a table with precisely 6 inches overhanging the edge of the table. We attempted to set the 35 pound weight onto the 6 inch portion of the sign that was overhanging the table. First we did it with 080 and as you can see it did bend but was able to hold the 35 pound weight. Then we tested with the 063 material. As you can see we couldn't perform the test because it simply couldn't hold the weight. Another person online attempts to bend 063 aluminum and makes it appear as though it's just too tough to bend. Well I would say that I'm of average strength and as you can see I was easily able to fold the 063 in half. And finally a word on reflectivity. Many states are starting to require a minimum of high intensity for all roadway signs. Here is a photo I snapped in our break room showing three types of sign. The flash hitting the reflective helped give an idea of how each of the materials will reflect light. Starting with a non-reflective sign in green, then you step up to minimum reflectivity, which is beaded engineer grade, and it's labeled in orange. Then you step up to engineer grade prismatic, which is our go-to for parking signs. Then, in yellow, you'll see the brightest one that we commonly sell and it is the high intensity. There is even a brighter one but we rarely sell it and it's called diamond grade. To sum it all up, 040 is great for real estate signs. Engineer grade prismatic on 080 should be your go-to for parking signs. High intensity on 080 should be your go-to for traffic signs. I hope that helps you when ordering signs online. Until next time, goodbye from everybody here at Signs Direct.